Hello again, fellow gears. What's up? It's Manicom bringing you another speedrun tutorial. This one is Unlikely Heroes version of Relic. We go in here with the typical setup. One scout, one sniper, one engineer, and two siphon soldiers. There is one main spawn and one secondary spawn, and there are three required stationary spots. The engineer is a free floater. And definitely a fair warning for your scout and, uh, Left Soldier, it's definitely a bit sweatier than other runs, but definitely worth it. Okay, the main spawn is going to be all through here. The majority of them will, will spawn in uh, this deep spawn as well, and the secondary spawn is over here. Now, the Soldier on the left, because they have a bit more of a run, we just have him plant this, this main square here. And his spot to stand is going to be over here. Right here. Now, uh, the other soldier on the right side, um, he's going to plant this right secondary weak spawn. And sometimes you won't get any spawn over here at all, so what we have this other soldier do is, because he's much closer, we also have him plant the deep main, because the soldier on the left just doesn't have a, enough time to plant the deep main and main as well. Effectively. And this soldier's spot to stand is going to be right here. Okay, and your scout, there's going to be one of two good spots that work um, for your scout. The first one is going to be over here on this shield. The other good spot can be here. Either way, whichever your preference really is. As far as the boss goes, we push him to that soldier over there. Uh, that's one of five boss spawns on the map. Um, in order to guarantee pushes there, you need a grenade or fortification right here in the spawn. The next spot for a grenade or fortification is going to be right there. The next one is behind this soldier here, right smack in this dirt pile, right there. And the last spot you need a grenade or fortification is going to be here, behind the fabricator and the versus spawn, right on this middle window here, there. With those four spots blocked, the boss pushes, as I mentioned, over here to the soldier. It will spawn here. And we just line up a decoy here. And the soldier and the engineer get on the action as far as killing the boss. And your other soldier across the way, if he has a drop shot, he wants to get on the action, he can as well. All right, so I'll go ahead now and show you the fabricator location. Um, if you notice when I drop this fabricator, it's going to be on this gold line in the circle. Um, and you want to make sure it's not past that gold line that I'm about to shoot. Because if it is, you'll start getting spawned behind you in the versus spawn. And of course, that's no good. <laughs> but um, with that, that is the basic setup of Unlike the Heroes Relic. And I have uh, map overview and boss footage and everything uh, coming right up. Here is a quick video of the Fabricator location. I've run into a lot of confusion about how far you can push the Fabricator forward from that versus spawn behind you, and uh, here is your answer. There you go. Hope it helps. Here is a map overview of the spawn. Another map overview for you. Here's one more map overview. Here is a basic setup overview of what I do when I set this up. Um, pretty easy, nothing experimental. Just got you know two two sentries on each entrance, a barrier on each entrance, um, and then two backup sentries. So eight total, two, 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 and a barrier on each entrance as well for three barriers. 
Um, the two sentries back here on this cog uh, are tri-purpose. First, um, they push the boss from spawning there. Second, you'll notice that there's some grenades in this corner that I'm shooting. You might get a couple odd spawns right there per game, so it just keeps that in check. As well as when the waves are heavy, you know, from the 7 to 0, um, and the spawn gets close to the two sentries on the entrance, they just kind of kick in as kind of a heavy overflow, um, which is good. And you see my setup and like, please do your own thing, put your own spin on it. Love to see new ideas um, in different setups, definitely for sure. And as you can also see, it's not terribly difficult to, to maintain once you're all set up here. Uh, pretty simple. One more look here at the spawn um, on this wave. Or nothing actually spawned in the secondary because again, you're not always going to get uh, secondary spawn at the secondary spawn point. Here are some boss waves for you. Um, what's great about this setup is you got your engineer and soldiers all going after the boss. <laughs> definitely, definitely fun. Another boss wave for you. Uh, boy, I have to tell you, it is so fun killing the Swalmac with drop shots. Never gets old. <laughs> One last boss wave for you. Uh, definitely fun to get a little up close and personal with the boss when you got a drop shot. That's for sure. And with that, that is Unlikely Heroes version of Relic. Great run. <laughs> definitely fun. Enjoyed everybody. Thank you.